Uh, this class, as you know, is called in a very peculiar, obscure way, Tracking the Gods. And I'm sure you're wondering what that's all about. And there'll be four presentations. Tonight is on the nature of and importance of myth. Uh, next week will be on modernism and the erosion of certainty. And then the third discussion, lecture, will be on uh, the great patterns that have run through the ages the patterns of the quest or journey, the developmental myth, and also the eternal return, the great cycle, the uh, eternal round, various names, the cycle of sacrifice. And we'll discuss that at that time. And the fourth presentation will be called Tracking the Gods, looking at the twin tasks that we all have to live our journey as faithfully as we can, but also to serve the mystery in some way. So um, to be continued. So one of the things we run into repeatedly in cultures is someone else's sincere experience and an experience that people are trying to transmit to their, gen to their children or to subsequent generations uh, come across to them as arbitrary, contrived, disconnected. So if I have imposed upon me uh, a set of stories or values or, or pictures, if you will, of the cosmos that don't accord with my experience, I will feel what's called mythic dissonance. In other words, I'll feel the discrepancy. I, I, I may not pay much attention to it consciously, but something in me will never feel at home. And, and of course, as Jung pointed out, the basic distinction, he said, between Traditional cultures in ours, as he said, responsibility for figuring this out has shifted from the tribal elders to your shoulders. Good news and bad news. The bad news is you have to figure it out. Nobody's going to come and tell you. And it frankly can be very intimidating to do that. And, and on the other hand, there's a tremendous depth and dignity and worth to the individual that comes with that. What is true? How do you know? How do you test it and experience it? What does it make you do? What does it keep you from doing? These are very pragmatic. These are not idealistic questions. They're very pragmatic. Because those are the decision-making centers that are going on in our psyche all the time. Which is why, again, when you take away the longitude and latitude out there, how do you chart your course? How do you chart it? That's the key.